I'm going to examine the MCP and PIP joints now. We'll be looking at the dorsal or extensor surfaces as well as the palmar surface of the MCPs and just take a brief look at the PIP. The best transducer for this exam is the L25, which uh, has a small footprint and it allows you to make uh, retain contact uh, with the skin surface. Uh, there is a marker on the transducer which represents this turquoise dot. And so in keeping your orientation straight, you always want to keep this proximal. So this is held that way for longitudinal images. And medial, so this marker should be on the outside. As a rheumatologist, we're going to be looking uh, for bony detail, tendon anatomy, and presence or absence of synovitis and erosions. I'll look today at the second and third MCPs, both in the transverse and longitudinal planes, and we'll take a brief look at the PIPs and then the palmar surface of the second MCP. Uh, we'll look longitudinally over the second MCP first and see the skin surface on the top, the bones, so this is proximal, so this is the end of the second metacarpal. Here's the uh, articular surface, and then here is the proximal portion of the first phalanx. The black anechoic surface here is cartilage, and there's some cartilage here, and this is a normal joint structure at the second MCP. There's frequently a small articular cortical defect on the dorsal surface of this uh, metacarpal. That is not an erosion. An erosion uh, would appear elsewhere with this type of an appearance. We can also see the extensor tendon superficially right under the surface of the skin. Could you move your finger just up a little bit? You can see that, that tendon moving and the joint moving. We we'll then take a transverse image and see a transverse oval image of that extensor tendon. We're going to look for hypochoic or anechoic fluid or synovium around it. Uh, in this case, none of that is present. We can also now look at the third MCP. Here again we see the extensor tendon, the joint, this V-shaped structure. This is anechoic where the cartilage is and hypoechoic where the actual joint uh, material is within the capsule. And the joint extends from approximately here all the way over to here. And that's quite normal. We'll look at the PIP. This is the distal end of the first phalanx. The joint is this space here. And she happens to have a small amount of osteoarthritis here with some irregularity of this cortical surface. I can slip my finger in here and show you where this is actually moving. And you can see that joint uh, flexing and extending. We'll look at the flexor surface of the second MCP. These tendons are quite a bit bigger. We see the flexor tendon moving very nicely as she flexes and extends her finger. And you can see the superficial border between the tendon and the subcutaneous tissues and you can see the joint very nicely here. This hypoechoic area is the A1 pulley, which is just proximal to this joint.